Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carol and the name of my channel is My Blessed Nest. Today I'm going to show you all the stuff I decluttered recently. I want to motivate you to declutter too, so let's get started. The first item came from my daughter's closet from when she lived here. It's a sleeping bag and she has two boys and this was hers so I'm going to send this along to her. I recently decorated for spring and so I found a couple items that I don't really want anymore. I have this sign and you might remember when I thrifted a little napkin, what are they called? Um, oh shoot, the little napkin rings? That doesn't sound right. Candle ring. <laughs> I thrifted a candle ring and this came with it and I thought I was going to be able to work him into my decor but I never really liked anywhere I put him. So he's going. And I have this lamp that was my daughter's and that's going to her sister, my other daughter. I always give these extras to my one friend. She appreciates them. And then I have a pair of slippers going to my friend. I found another VCR tape. So that's going to my friend as well. My mom got in on the action per normal. And I have one, two, three, four, five rolls of contact paper. I don't know how people use this with the sticky stuff on the back because you can never get it off again. So we are not going through that. <laughs> so that's getting donated. Let's see. Next, I have these lights. That was my in my daughter's room. Getting rid of those. And these lights as well. These are going for my granddaughter. They're so cute. They're little flowers. Real girly. This was my mother-in-law's. And this is going to my daughter. Another thing my mom got rid of, this whole bag of plasticware. And then my husband made me new shelves for my birthday, so we're getting rid of the two floating shelves that we had. And my daughter wants those. These were the centerpieces from when our daughter got married. I'm going to be uh, giving a few of those away to people that wanted them, and then the rest I'm donating. They're really super cute. They have this candle. Ugh, I'm not going to take it apart and make a mess, but there's uh, the little vase with sand and then these beads I got at um, Michael's, I think, and then the little candles from Hobby Lobby. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six more magazines going. My friend wants those. Looking around, I think that's everything for this time. I will show you a clip of something I'm also getting rid of that's too big to haul over here, but it's um, little beady things that our daughters had hanging down from their bunk beds, and one of our daughters wants those as well. That's everything for this declutter session. Most of this stuff I did declutter from this very room, and I can link the video in the cards where uh, I decluttered and how I went about that. So if you need some motivation for decluttering, that should help. <laughs> Here's some important things I want you to take away about decluttering. Number one, just do it. Even if it's 15 minutes at a time, you can get a lot done in a 15 minute time chunk. Number two, if it's something you really don't want anymore but you just feel guilty about getting rid of, get rid of it anyway because you're not going to feel any less guilt seeing it every day in your home. So just get rid of it. Oh, that reminds me too. I will put a clip in at the end of some dishes that I finally was able to let go of. I've had them for over 30 years and they're fine china, a really super nice set and a lot of them, there's service for eight plus some extras. And I know that they're worth money. Um, and 
they're not my style anymore. So I have uh, green dishes and pink dishes that are both depression that I like a lot better now. But um, I checked with a friend and she's going to buy them for her granddaughter. And it just made it a whole lot easier to let go of them knowing that they're going to um, somebody that I know. And hopefully she will love them and get many years of good service out of them. So um, let's see. Any more tips for decluttering? Because I know you're hanging on my every word because you need to declutter. <laughs> Okay, next tip, have a box ready to put stuff in at all times. I keep a donate box at all times. I know I've shared this with you before, but it's just a simple way of keeping it foremost in your mind. So rather than setting something aside, go put it right in that box. And when the box is full, or even if it's only half full and you're heading out, and you can run by your donation place of choice, then get it in the car and get it out of here. And the last thing that's really helped me to declutter is to really think hard about something and would I miss this? And if the answer is no, then get rid of it. So I hope these little tips helped you. And I also hope seeing what I decluttered helped you to think about some things that you could declutter. So let's get decluttering. If you need accountability, post it in the comments of what you're going to get rid of and by when. And I will be your cheerleader. <laughs> okay, also wanted to mention that I was going to save this declutter haul for uh, a video. I mentioned that I'm going to be participating in April, but I want to get it out of my house and I don't want to lose any footage. And I know that I can come up with more to declutter with by then. So don't be disappointed. I will be participating in the One Box Challenge in April. It'll just be more stuff that I'm getting rid of. Thanks for watching today. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll link that below. And Monday, I will be having another video that'll be a surprise video. So just keep your eyes open and see what that's all about. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.